What about the news this week? Ashley Young has officially left. He's been unveiled as an Inter Milan player. New captain is needed. And it's Harry Maguire. Is this the correct decision? Because I remember not too long ago, David De Gea saying he would absolutely love to be captain of Manchester United. Well, I think that shows you where Manchester United are. No disrespect. I like Harry Maguire. I like his attitude. I like what he brings. He, he travels with the ball well. He's, he's turned into a really good defender. But he's new to this football club. And we're talking about Manchester United. Who else you is know, there? What, but this is the point. That, mm. you know, over the last few seasons, recruitment-wise, who's taken up this mantle? How, how can he be captain against, of Manchester against United? Against Manchester City, where they got ripped apart... Marcus Rashford was captain, 23 years old. I know he's played a lot of games, I know he's got experience, but I don't see him as being a leader. I don't see him as being vocal in any way, shape or form. There is nobody else. When you, when you go through that team, who else, you know, Martial's not going to be a captain. That James, Fred, wan -Bizaka. Matic. Is he going to play every week, though? I think, I think that's the but problem. But why is he not? Do you know, why is he not playing? He, you would certainly have said well, that... he would have been the type of player that Manchester United needs with his experience. He would be one. So is, it, is he underperforming? But, but I, think, I think United need players to lead by example very much at this precise moment in time. And I think Maguire has led by example. You know, at a club in a difficult transitional period, I think Maguire has played really well as a central and, defender. And, and, and people will point out where he's made mistakes. But and of, he's, and everybody he's the only makes one, mistakes. He's the, he's the, but, only, he's the yeah. obvious well, choice. And I think he's calm, that. I think he's collected, I think he's the ideal choice. And presumably he's there medium long term based on the length of contract he's signed as well. Do you well, reckon De Gea is going to be a bit upset given that he's well, vocally he spoken but about he's it? got to look at his own performances as yeah. well of late. He was top draw, he's fell away. Yes, he's... It's, he's going to have more attention because his team are, are not doing as well as he would have liked. Um, but he would want that. He'd feel like he's done enough at Manchester United. But this is where the club are. But so, um, some, some people don't like goalkeepers as captains because the goalkeepers very rarely train with the rest of the team. They're often separate, aren't they? It's, it's all, they go off and they do their own thing. So he's not... What, you know, who's he... Might be captain of the goalkeepers almost at yeah. times. He's not in and amongst the rest of the team during training. He can't set those sort of examples. And I just think Harry Maguire is the only... And Michael's right, that the Ayers' performances haven't been brilliant. There's been question marks whether he should play week in, week out. Maguire's the only one that is pretty much guaranteed to, to play if he's fit. Well, it looks like you want to say something. No, no, I, I agree. I was looking for you to actually say, well, what, what, you, what you're going to say next, because I think we've covered yeah. it. We're not disrespecting Harry Maguire. Uh, you know, I think he's done very, very well at Manchester United, yeah. but you would have expected somebody else at the football club to have took that.